In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a 100% stack bar chart here in Chart.js. And you can see here what happens is the site here is based on percentages. And you can see here it shows you the percentage, but also the absolute value in parentheses. So you can see 18, 18, and here 12, 12, as you can see. And here it's 100, this is 100, and this is 12. And you can see while the numbers in absolute values are different, it will always hit here to 100%. So let's start to explore how to create a 100% stack bar chart in Chart.js. First thing what we need to do is we need to get our default code which you can find in Chart.js3.com getting started and this link is also in the description box. Scroll down here and just copy this entire chunk of code here. Copy. And then if you want to understand by the way what this code does make sure you watch this video here which explains it all. I'm going to just paste it all in there, cut out this and then we place this title here save that refresh all right so now we have just a basic bar chart here but what we want to do now is to start adding up a specific plugin for this that allows us a hundred percent stack bar chart so what we're going to do is we go to charges.org we go to ecosystem here here we can see all the plugins we're going to scroll down here and go to search here for the plugins and this plugin is called 100% or stack 100%, which also supports Chart.js 3. I'm going to scroll down here and just copy the specific link they have here. Let's copy this. And then once we copy this, make sure you put that JavaScript file, which is this one here, after the Chart.js library file. Why? Because the Chart.js library has certain variables and constant values that needs to be loaded first before this can load because this is dependent on whatever is in Chart.js library. All right, so if we save this now, of course, nothing happens yet. So what we need to do here is, secondly, we can just duplicate this. Should have a duplicated version. Copy, comma, there we are, save that. All right, so we have this. What we also need to do is we need to activate specifically the chart and this is what we call a registration of chart. So we're going to say a chart which is basically the chart object and we say dot register and what are we going to register? Well we're going to register the plugin name which is called chart with capital C JS plugin with capital P stack with capital S 100 and we say a dot default. I want to make sure that this works and activate the default settings. If I save this now Refresh, all right, nothing happens yet. Scroll down here, and then what we need to do here is to activate or trigger the plugin features. So in the options here, I'm going to put in here, enter, and say plugins. And then in this here, make sure you have a comma here below. And in here, we're going to say the stack 100 object. So basically, once we activated the stack 100 plugin, we are allowed to use now the stack 100 feature here, or object, with the items and what we're going to do is first of all we're going to say we want to enable this we're going to say this on true comma and then we can save this for now let's see what happened if i refresh here all right so as you can see here it starts to do already something here and of course right now all these values are you you already see already that's a very nice thing the values are different this is you can see 50 percent and you can see the scale is already matching to 50 percent but you can see the the real data point is only number 18 and this 18 plus 18 makes 36. However, here we have 12 and 12. So this will be 24. So let's do something else. And let's start to change the colors a bit. So I'm going to rumble up the colors. Or at least adjust the colors. And here the numbers. I'm just going to do all kind of weird things here. We make some huge numbers. And then here's 1000. And then here 250. And this here, I'll just make this one the lower color, which is a black color here save this refresh there you are as you can see here it will of course make a different match here because you can see here these values are extremely different however it will always hit the very top here no matter what the value is there's no difference in that and what we could do here as well maybe for example here you could even remove the data point if you don't want to have the data point or number 18 we can just say here the following replace to tip label pay attention to the capital letters we set this on false by default it is set on true 
that I saved is now, you can see here, now we only have the percentage value, as you can see. We get the percentage value here and not anywhere the absolute value. So what we could do as well is the next one, let's remove this again, because I like to keep the original with the percentage and the whole story. But let's say you will want to uh, have, maybe we need to be more accurate. You want to have the decimal point to show more. So we can control here the precision. So I'm going to say a precision, and here the precision could be to make it very extreme. Let's say you are you need three uh, decimal numbers. So you go here, you can see here once it is different. Let's see here, there you are on 14 point something, 28 six. You can see here now it will be if suitable or possible, like this one here is like exact 50%, 50%. So there's no need for any decimal points. But if it is necessary, it will show here automatically. And this is basically how you can create a stacked bar chart where you have here 100% while our data is just set here in absolute values. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn something else, which I also recommend is what we call the Pareto chart. And the Pareto chart is also very interesting because on one side we have absolute values and the other side we have percentages based on the values here of the chart where the line will be in percentage being displayed. So absolutely one item that's quite challenging but also interesting to learn.